Alrighty guys, welcome to the vlog. Drew here. Um, first off, Ice Athletic Club, if y'all wanna go cop some of the sexiest uh, fitness wear you could buy. Use code DXC over there, you'll get 10% off. I just got off the phone with my boy Anthony Prashan. We got a shoot today, so I'm gonna get changed real quick. And then if all goes as planned, after I finish the shoot, I'm gonna go solo camping tonight. And then on top of that, I'm gonna wake up in the morning and do an ice bath. I'm really happy about all the positive feedback I got on my recent YouTube video. I know I've been a little bit late to getting into it. I said I'd do it every other week, but now we're here, we're back, and we're getting to it. So peace. driving to Anthony's. I did not get the chance to grub up, so I'm gonna go call that dude and tell him to make me some food because a boy needs to eat. Yeah. Girl, I do the dash, I maneuver it. Whatever frames, I can't see you, I maneuver. All right, guys, just linked up with Anthony. We're about to pick up Aaron real quick. Gonna go pick up the other dude. What's his name? Uh, no, he's meeting us down there, but a oh. dude that can pop wheelies on a motorcycle. Motorcycle. I didn't know if it was a dirt bike or a motorcycle, so that's what we're doing. What up, boys? What's up? <laughs> All right, guys, so we out here. We just running it up right now, trying to get a lot of quick shots in a little amount of time. We got a lot of crazy stuff coming, so. Go put a mic on him, Drew. <laughs> Tag going to work over there. <laughs> Drew, get on the top. Are you, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good up there. Okay. Yeah. I feel more secure than I think I should, honestly. <laughs> Boys going to work with that drone. Chase him down. Holy shit, that was such a close shot. <laughs> I'm so bummed I didn't learn that stuff on a Harley. Dude, it's so a much pussy. fun. Like you're, you're a sporty dude. If you could wheelie on a dirt bike, you could wheelie a Harley. Wheeling it's super easy. It's stopping yourself and like your foot brake. Yeah. Yeah, but is it hard though picking up on it? It's so heavy. Yeah, but you just get like a sticky tire, Cinco, and then you learn. There's like all sorts of things that make it easier. Tire, tire pressure. Like I run shitty old fucking stock tires. So, so nice. I'll take t tires that people took off and threw away, like 10 year old tire. Put it on and it'll be super easy to slide but then hard to wheelie but then uh, if you got lower the tire pressure i worked at a, a sushi restaurant and i would take people's sushi they wouldn't eat really so it's like the same thing <laughs> <laughs> this like yeah this tire was like look this thing was like almost new <laughs> so much fun okay yeah you guys too yeah, nice boom to you. boom boom <laughs> How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Feeling man? real motherfucking good. Absolutely bonkers. Yeah, I want to buy a bike tomorrow. Alrighty guys, just pull up to Smith's real quick, grab some steak and some chicken. 
Here we are in a little bit of time crunch. I'm trying to get up there before the sun sets. So I'll meet you guys up there. Peace. Geekin' bitch, I'm in her face, she's still pursuing me Ay, Three, fours, one, I'll give out that number Alrighty guys, what's up? We just pulled up to the spot. I'm a little hangry right now. I haven't had much food at all today, so I'm ready to cook. They actually didn't have seasoned chicken, the type that I wanted at the store, unfortunately. So we got some fajita beef as well as a beef tenderloin. Nevertheless, it's time to get stuff going. So I'm gonna go set up real quick and then I'll get back to you guys. Hey. Yeah. Okay guys, we got everything set up. I actually was gonna be doing this solo, but then all of a sudden I noticed that I don't have a tripod and it's kind of hard to like put everything just on rocks and stones around. It's fun for a little bit, but then it gets a little annoying, I'll have to say. So I got my boy Ethan Decker here, one of the best photographers in Utah. He's <laughs> ha ha top. <laughs> yeah, so. We got him here, he's gonna be camping with me tonight. And I'll just do another series at some point, maybe like a solo camping series, which would be really sick. Here's my little tour of the campground. So we have my hammock, my sleeping arrangement. Walk with me, walk with me. Fire, we just got it down to the coals, which is the best time to cook your steak. And that's what I'm excited for mostly because I still haven't eaten and I waited on Ethan to get here. So I haven't eaten since like three or two today and all I had was cream of wheat. So yeah, and let's start just cooking the steak because that's the only other part of the tour we got. Hey. On my way to the boat like I ain't just had on the coat when I landed out branded. Perched at the edge of the branches, they don't want to talk. Look at this shit. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Got that combo. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. God damn. Second meal. Yeah, we got a tenderloin steak. I was hoping for a sirloin, but they're actually out for some reason. And there's only one way to season your steak, and it's Creole. Tony's Creole. I grew up in the south in Mississippi, and this is what we would put on like every single piece of meat or anything. So lather that boy up. And I'm all about my brothers like the niggas I'm sampling. I'll leave you red shirted like the mm. <laughs> oh. All right, what's up guys? Um <clears throat> me and Ethan just grubbed up. Uh, today I was gonna talk about how to just be more productive than 90% of the people that you may be surrounded by. Uh, I wrote down a couple ideas of things you could do. And these are things I have implemented for myself personally. One of them is creating some type of focus playlist. Something that whenever you're in your zone, you wanna be accompanied to. I have a playlist that I play every time that I edit and I have it in the background while I'm chopping up clips and that's like my zone in. And it's kind of a trigger to be like, okay, no more distractions. This is what we're focusing on for the moment. Um, another thing is priming yourself to focus. Every night before I go to bed, I'll first of all journal. I'll write down my gratitude for the day as well as some intentions I have for just my life overall. Some examples for me is I will wake up early every day. I will show gratitude through all my actions. Yeah. I will find ways to serve others through my work, things like that, uh, which are just intentions that you can look back on and remember. Yeah, and then along with my journaling time, I'll also plan out my day. So I use an app called Notion for my gratitude journaling. And then I use an app called Time Page and Actions, which are a joint app that work together for productivity. And yeah, so before I go to bed, I'll write down my journal, do my gratitude, my intentions, and then I'll write out what my plan is for the next day. And it doesn't always have to go completely as planned, but just scheduling out and saying, this is what I'm gonna do, will just put you in a mind frame where you're ready to beat the day before it even starts. So third thing, this is schedule deep work sessions. So I try and work for two to three hours and then have a short break in between. So naturally it takes 20 to 30 minutes for you to get into a flow state and focus, as well as it takes 1.5 to three hours for you to lose focus. Having those breaks in between will be able to maintain your lifespan of creativity and just focus. And yeah, so that's another thing. Okay, this one also goes into the one before the last, which is reflecting. So along with like my planning for the next day as I do my gratitude and everything that gives me 
a time to reflect on myself and what I could have done better during my day or my last week as I can look back at all those things that I've written down. Uh, another thing is separating your tasks based on their type. You can batch like your analytical tasks together, which is your organization, your research, and your planning. And then, for example, you can also organize together your creative batches, which can be brainstorming, maybe watching a film, analyzing it if you're a videographer and editor, looking at other people's work, looking for sounds, looking for things you can use and implement into your own style. And whenever you're able to separate those batches of different types of work, it gives you the ability to not have to be switching and thinking of things constantly back and forth. And then that loses your focus as well. So Ethan also asked another question to add on to it, which is how do I not burn out? I think that's the biggest lie that anybody can ever tell you. Everyone burns out. It's just how long do you burn out for, I think. So going along with this, last week I went to LA and I was there with Max Taylor, Lex Little, and a bunch of other guys. So throughout this time, I was still working. I was doing vlogs, I was doing my own reels, I was shooting, all that stuff. But my sleep schedule got completely screwed up and I was staying up till 5 a.m., going to sleep, waking up at one or two every day. And as I flew back into Utah, getting back into my normal schedule was not, not very easy, and it kind of caused me to burn out because I'm not productive during those hours on my normal schedule. I'd wake up and I just didn't have any energy. I couldn't get myself to do my normal tasks that I would normally do. So a couple of ways that I've combated that is, for one, I came out here and I camped tonight, in doing that, I know that I'll go to sleep a little bit earlier, and whenever I camp, I always wake up at 5 or 6 or 7 a.m. So having that flip of a switch will be able to cause me to get back into my routine a little bit better. So another thing would be looking at the big picture. So looking at the bigger picture is noticing two or three weeks down the line, if you let this burnout keep a hold on you, you're going to lose so much time and creativity that you could have put into your work, your family, your whatever you have going on in your life and you'll just lose the time that you could have had. So noticing that there's a bigger payoff in the end than the struggle you're going through right now. Another thing, oh, this is this is the biggest thing, 100%, is just surrounding yourself by people who also wanna fight that burnout. Because like I said, everyone has burnouts, but whenever you have them with different people, you're on different schedules, so you burn out at different times and it creates where other people will be able to bring you up and they'll be like, no, you gotta be here or you gotta do this with me. Like, of course, not everyone has that and it's hard, but as you grow and you continue to work on whatever craft you're passionate about, those people will come. It's just a matter of time. Another thing is just whenever you wake up, getting yourself to do something physical. For me, I always have to go to the gym or just hop in a cold shower or do something that activates me the second that I wake up or I'll get lazy again or I'll just lay in bed for 15 minutes on my phone and then I'll just pass out wake up two hours later and then I've lost my day. That's my best advice. And I don't wanna to take too much time because we still gotta get this cold plunge in in the morning as well as get some sleep. So thank you guys for joining in the morning. We're gonna get an ice plunge. So stick around and yeah, peace. <laughs> and scene. Good morning. Um, so we're prepping for the cold plunge, as you can see. This is a bit nippy, so I'm, I'm warming up them toes and prepping them. So this will be Ethan's first time doing a cold plunge. This is like the worst way to start off, honestly, because he's just going straight into the most brutal cold that there really is because we're up in the canyon it's higher elevation it's like 50 degrees right now and it's going to be like a current in the water which means it's going to be even colder tell them how excited you are oh hell i don't know if i'm excited but i'm here so therefore i'm doing it all right guys we are ready there's not much more to say you're gonna do five minutes a piece, maybe. We'll see how long anything can last. I'm literally already shivering. I'm not even gonna lie, it's chilly out here. So let's run this hoe. Fuck, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I need some lucky for the support today. I'ma bring it home, you roll my day when I be in the road. Why you can't leave me alone? Those niggas that's rich to me in your phone. You just wanna be in the song. How do I sleep with you reading the wrong? I'm gonna see you when I got time, even though I got nothing to do. Help with your heart health, help with your brain health, help with your breathing stability. 
And the number one thing is it's like the most natural shot of espresso in your whole life. I mean, it wakes you up, your mental clarity is way up in the moon. You're excited to start the day. And if you can't do cold plunges, what I started out with, doing cold showers every morning, start out at 30 seconds a day, work your way up to like five minutes, and then come out here and hop in this. But our buddy Ethan decided not to do that. So this is gonna be- I didn't know, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm betting he can go one minute at least. He doesn't think he can do more than 10 seconds, but I believe in him, so we'll see how he does. Bring it home, you roll my day when I be in the road. Why you can't leave me alone? The niggas that's rich to me in your phone. You just wanna be in the song. How do I sleep with you reading the wrong? Oh. Yeah, a minute and 50 seconds. How are we feeling? Oh my god, I'm awake. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Guys, that, that concludes it. Ethan's feeling real spicy over here, aren't you? <laughs> Alrighty guys, that's gonna be a wrap for the video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed. <sighs> so once again, if you guys wanna support Anthony and I, we're pushing Ice Athletic Club a whole bunch. It's all the fitness wear that I personally wear. If you wanna get 10% off, use code DXC. And that helps me out, helps the boys out, and it makes the world go around. And that's a wrap, so thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.